Let's solve this question here. A poker hand consists of 5 cards drawn from a deck of 52 playing cards. The hand is said to be 4 of a kind if both of the cards have the same face value. For example, hands with 4 twos or 4 threes or 4 queens are 4 of a kind hands. Part A. How many such hands are possible? Part B. What's the probability that 4 of the 5 cards make up a 4 of a kind? Okay, so you're supposed to draw 5 cards from the 52 cards. And 4 of the cards need to have the same face value. So that make up a 4 of a kind. Okay, let's look at part A first. How many such hands are possible? Okay, so part A. But first of all, you need to think about how many face value are there in the 52 playing cards? There are 13, okay? So let's look at this. Face value. Right? In the poker, right? Okay, so the first one is ace, okay? So A, and then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then jack, queen, and then king. So there are 13 face value here. Okay, so each of this face value has four suits. Okay, so suits. And what they are? Um, spade, heart, club, Okay, club and diamond. Okay, so what it means is that four of a kind means that, right? You have to choose one of these face value, but you choose four cards, and all these four cards should be the same face value, just with all these four suits. So how do you do that? Okay, so the 13 face value there, right? And you have to choose one of them. The order doesn't matter. So we're going to use combination. Combination, right? So there are 13 face value. You have to choose one of them, right? So one of the one of these 13 face value. Okay. But you also have to make sure that the four cards you draw has this four suits of the same face value. So again. The order that you choose this suit does not matter, right? So we use combination. And since you are choosing four cards, right? But you have to choose all four of them. So basically, that's how you write it, right? Okay, so let's write it out. What is this? 13 choose one. So it's basically 13 factorial divided by 1 factorial times 13 minus 1 factorial. This one is basically 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial times 4 minus 4 factorial. Okay, so what is this? Now, 13 minus 1 is 12. So 1 factorial is 1. right? So 1 times 12 factorial is 12 factorial. So it's 13 factorial divided by 12 factorial. Times, how about this? 4 minus 4 is 0. 0 factorial is 1. So 4 factorial times 1 is 4 factorial. So it's 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial here. Okay, so here, 13 factorial divided by 12 factorial is 13. 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial is 1. Right? 13 times 1. So 13. So there are 13 ways for you to choose the 4 of a kind. However, in the question, you are supposed to choose five cards in total. So now you choose four cards. You have to choose one more card. And how many ways can you choose that fifth card? I mean, it doesn't necessarily need to be the fifth card, right? Because again, when you choose these five cards, the order doesn't matter, right? You can choose two of the same face value and then choose a different face value and then choose the other two of the same face value right you can do that too so it doesn't matter so how do you choose the remaining card okay 
So in total, there are 52 cars, right? There are 52 cars in total. But to choose four of a kind, you have already choose four cars, right? So how many cars you have remaining to choose from? Basically 48 cars, right? Remaining for you to choose from. Okay. Now again, you are choosing one of the 48 cars. Again, right? The, the order doesn't matter, right? You can choose any of these 48 cars, right? To pair with this four of a kind. So how do you write this, right? Since the order doesn't matter, it's a combination, right? And you choose one of them, right? From the 48 cards. So basically, that's how it is, right? And how do you write this? It's basically 48 factorial divided by uh, 1 factorial times 48 uh, minus 1 factorial. Okay, so 48 factorial, oh, sorry, 48 minus 1 is 47, right? The 47 factorial, 1 factorial is 1. 1 times 47 factorial is 47 factorial. So it's 48 factorial divided by 47 factorial. And that's just 48. Right? So there are 48 ways for you to choose the other cars. So overall, to answer part A, how many such hands are possible? Right? So they, so basically, there are uh, 5 cars. Okay? So it's basically, you just combine this and this together. Right? So it's basically combination, right? 13, you choose 1 times, right? 4, choose 4 times here. 48, you choose 1. And that is, now we know that this is 13, right? Like what we calculated here. Times 1, this one is 1, right? Times this one is 48. And if you put in the calculator, this is 624 way. Right? So that's the answer to part A. There's 624 ways you can choose. This. Four of a kind plus one additional card. Now let's look at part B now. What's the probability that four of the five cards make up a four of a kind? So basically, the question is asking, right? What is the probability that you draw five cards from the 52 playing cards and four of them has the same face value and then the other car is just anything other than that of the same face value, right? Okay, let's look at part B. Part B. So part B is probability. Okay, so think about it like that, right? Probability of this is basically number of possible ways Divide by total number of ways you can draw this uh, five cards. Okay, okay. So we're gonna have the answer for the numerator here. The number of possible ways is from part B, right? I'm oh, sorry, it's from part A, right? Okay. So now, how many ways you can draw fifty-two cards? Uh, you can draw five cards from the fifty-two cards. So how many ways? Uh, to draw five cards from the fifty two cards. Again, since the order doesn't matter, right? So we use combination. So you have fifty two cards, you just choose five cards. That's it. So this will be your numerator here, uh, the denominator, I mean, okay? This will be your denominator. Okay, so let's just write it out, right? What does it mean? It means 52 factorial divided by uh, 5 factorial times 52 minus 5 factorial. And that is equal to 52 factorial divided by 5 factorial times, okay, 52 minus 5 is 47, so it's 47 factorial. Okay, let's evaluate this. So, oh, let's write this out, right? 
We do know that. 52 factorial, we can write it as this. So 52 times 51 times 50 times 49 times 48 times 47 times 46, right? Times, okay, all the way until times 2 times 1. Divide by, now 5 factorial is 5 times 1, uh, uh, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, right? Times 47 factorial is 47 times 46 times all the way until times 2 times 1, right? So obviously we know that this part here will cancel out with this part here. And all I left is 52 times 51 times 50 times 49 times 48 uh, divided by this. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, so maybe we don't evaluate this right now, right? Just to show you how you calculate this. You can also put in the calculator and then you will get the answer. But let's calculate the probability right now, right? The probability. So the probability, right, is equal to number of possible way, which is what we calculated in part A. Yeah, 624 way. But let's write out everything, right? From part A, right? We have 13 choose 1 times 4 choose 4 times 48 choose 1. Let me write it better. 48 choose 1, right? Or divide by, right? 52, uh, 52 cards times uh, I'm sorry, uh, choose 5 cards. Okay, so that's the probability, right? <laughs> total number of possible ways divided by total number of ways you can draw the card. Okay, so, okay. And uh, we do know that the top is just 13 times 1 times 48 divided by the bottom. The bottom, we know that we can simplify to this here, right? So 52 times 51 times 50 times 49 times 48 divided by 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay. So when you're dividing a fraction, you are multiplied by the inverse of that, right? So it's equal to 13 times 1 times Okay, let me just put a multiplication sign here. Times 48. Now times this. Times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Or divide by 52 times 51 times 50 times 49 times 48. Okay. This is a large fraction. But we want to write in the most reduced form. So let's try and see if we can cancel something out here. I see 48 and 48 can cancel out. What else can you do? Uh, uh, thirteen. Okay, so 30, 13 and 52, right? So this is 1 and that's 4, right? 4 and 4 can cancel out. I think 3 and 5 can as well, right? Is this 17? Let me try. 51 divided by 3, or oh, 17, okay? So this, and this, right, 17. 5 and 50, so that is 10. Uh, 2 and 10 is 5. What else are left? Oh, that's it. I think I have only like 17, 5, and 49, and then the top is just 1. Okay. So 1 times 1 is 1, divide by 17 times 5 times 49. It's 1 over, what's the denominator? 
17 times 5 times 49, 4,165. Okay, so that's the answer. This is the probability that you draw five cards from a 52 playing cards with four of the cards have the same face value. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.